Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I tried to film this a little bit ago and my camera didn't load right, so I do it again. Alright, been making stuff again. Paper pads I used were the glistening snow. Give thanks. And the boo. Boo is um, Joanne's Give Thanks is Recollections and Glistening Snow is Recollections. All right. I made some Christmas cards. And what it was is the Glistening Snow had some cut-aparts and some six-by-sixes in it. And some, they're really pretty colors. I cut the two pages of the cut-aparts. I did cut them. I just went ahead and cut them. Um, I got to figure out what to do. And how to use these. These are these make good card fronts. These ones right here. Um, these ones, I don't know. because the, And these really have me baffled because of the geometric shape. But anyway, I'll figure out something. Just wanted to show you what I've done so far. Um, just pick this up out of the way. I made two cards. And out of the six by six cut aparts. And the reason I made them the size that I did was because I had some envelopes that were five and a half by five and a half squares and they fit a five and a quarter card. So I trimmed the six by six down to five and a quarter very carefully. And I did use some of my stardust stickles to make the sparklies on the outside. And then I did Put the, I line them with the, that's a border strip and it has its own sparklies. Did that one and I did make, this one had the Merry Christmas, oh I stamped the Tis the Season on it right down there. And uh, this one did have the Merry Christmas already on it. So I made two of those. I did add the sparkly to that too. I don't know if you can tell through the plastic. Add this, um, the Stardust Stickles. Okay. And then... There was this cut apart, Snow Sweet Snow. So I used a sheet of um, decorative paper from the Glistening Snow collection. And I had these um, 5 by 7 card bases that I um, dragged out. <laughs> and what I did was I cut these, I cut six little snowflakes with my 5 8 inch snowflake punch. Um, that one. And I cut it out of some silver. I'm going to show you this in orange, but I had some silver and it was one of the longer ones that we got at Dollar Tree. And I cut it out of that. That's why they're so flat. And I did add them down the side here because of the, the difference in the in the widths of the between the cut apart and the card base. And I, I added three down the side and then I add three to the interior of the card. And I did make two of those. And I just realized I need to stamp my stamp on the back of this. And then there was this was really pretty one. I didn't do anything to it. This is um, actually dark gray background. I got that. I think it was called Thunderstorm. A pack of paper called Thunderstorm, maybe. I did back the cut apart with black cardstock. You can see it right there, real thin, at, to. You know, so it would not blend in with the gray of the gray um, base. And this is another piece of gray out of that same cardstock pack. And then I have three little those I punched out with just a regular paper punch and match the paper. And I did make two of those. And then. I had these, oops, I had this one that I made, and I had these ivory card stock, uh, card bases. They're four by five and a half. So, this cut apart was just this inside piece right here. But what I did was I found paper. It looked like the paper that I used with this card, only the little, um, little snowflake like bursts were holographic this had its own little shimmer in that cut apart I don't know if you can see it on the paper I the cut apart I backed in black cardstock and then I 
back the um, decorative paper and black cardstock and on the cut apart I did add the black Merry Christmas that I had I die so I just I had cut some of the black Merry Christmas and I just put it across there and I think this is one of my favorite cards and I did make two of those now I have a where did I get this card card I put it in this little wrapper here and it's I found this in the card bases when I was getting out the five by seven card bases of the craft card stock card bases. Uh, why didn't I finish this? Because the Merry Christmas was not on there. All I had was this paper, this little plastic snowflake that you get from Dollar Tree, a uh, white sparkly uh, glitter paper snowflake that I cut out with a, I have a punch that makes those. I have a die that makes the little deer heads. And... I don't know if this paper is from Mistletoe Lodge or from Lumberjack. I'm not sure which one it's from. It's from one of those because it just looks like it is. Anyway, and I when I was cutting out my black Merry Christmases, I cut out one white one. And apparently it was, you know, meant to be. Because when I pulled this out of there, I said, oh, why didn't I finish it? Oh, it just needs a Merry Christmas and I needed to line it. So that's what I did, and that card got finished. <laughs> and I think it's really, it's one of my favorites, actually. I think I'm going to, I think I have some more of those, and I may just make some more of those. And I wanted to use, let's see, where is it? I had this. I had a pack of these that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby, not this year, I don't think. I think it was last year. They were $3.99 for 12 pieces, and I know I didn't pay $3.99. I probably got it 40% off, which would have made it was $2.40, something like that, for these. And I used one of each of them, and I made these cards. I made two. One says Pumpkin Harvest. And the other one says Autumn Harvest. And I got those little words out of the, um, it was a, a Tim Holtz word pack. You know, the little stickers. It was the seasons. And I cut these out of these dies. I don't know where I got these dies. Cut out two sets of them in the craft card stock. And this is my Merry Christmas die that I used on these other cards. And I didn't do anything. I didn't even line them. But I just glued the, the truck on there and said autumn harvest and pumpkin harvest. So I made two of those. And I went back into from the Boo collection. I went back to making um, covering, not these. I did make one that covered that, but uh, the white pads, the white note pads that I that were five by, they were five by seven or five by eight. But these are the legal size ones, and I had a pack of three of those, so I moved on to covering these, made with the exact same dimensions, um, the scoring dimensions, except. I got it all done, and I put this pad in here, and I said, oh, it's shorter. So I cut off a quarter of an inch and re-inked my edge. I like these papers to do this. Double-sided is always the nice way to go when you're making something like this. I did have this orange and black, really thick twine, and I got it from Dollar Tree. No, wait, I either got a Dollar Tree or Dollar General. This might have been a Dollar General purchase. The cut apart is from the collection. I just backed it with some paper scraps from the collection that I had in there um, in the pack and backed it all with black card stock. I took my uh, one inch star punch and punched out some glittery stars from this actual one right here. I did that one. Then I had, I got out another, I did all three of the pads. So then I got this one. Uh, the bats, like I said, I used the black and white cord. I had one of the black and orange and one of the black and whites. So I used this one. Probably should have used the black and orange to bring it out a little bit. Cut apart, backed it with black cardstock, then backed it with orange cardstock. And you can't see it kind of blends in. I should have used the orange. Um, um, my one-inch punch, and I had some, like, some of this paper... 
and like a gunmetal, but it's still sparkly if you can see it. This tag and the enter if you dare was from the Recollections Halloween um, cut a sticker pad here. One was from there, and then the words. Thought that turned out really cute. I like that one. And this is my favorite one. I used, this is a double-sided paper too. These are all from Boo, the collection Boo. Um, I used this paper, this side of the paper, because the other side was a huge haunted house, and I just didn't know what to do with it, so I just let it be the background for the inside of this pad. Oops, need to get that back in there. That's what I like about these. You can refill them. Um, especially if a kid, you know how kids love to use paper and just scribble on one page and tear it out. And you can refill it. And the, these are pockets. They do open. Um, I cut apart from the collection, backed it with black cardstock. Then I laid the whole thing down on this stuff, glued it down, and then trimmed around it. And or the... Um, one inch star punch again came into play with the orange stars on that one. I put a little label on the back of this one. Don't know why, because it looked kind of bare. And those labels came from an ancient pack of the Seven Gypsies. I don't, the fold over sticker book. Classic black. Yeah, but I didn't know what to do with them. So came from there, right there. These are from 2006, believe it or not. Okay, get those. And then one more. I did do one more, and that's where these come in, of these. In the autumn, and it's come from the Give Thanks collection. Um, everything, all the paper except for the uh, craft cardstock came from that collection. Real simple outside. The cut apart was blank. But on the um, border strip page that came with it, I found that Gather Together cut it in half and centered it on there. And centered the cut apart on the craft card stock to back it a little bit. And then used the paper from that collection. Um, I did use a sticker right here from one of these packs. That, one of the, not, not that pack, it was the other one. Hang on. I'll get it together here in a second. I have two of these, and, I don't, and I've and i almost used them. It came from right there. So I'm getting those. I'm getting them used. Oh, and this uh, burlap and twine uh, trim, that was from the floral section of Dollar Tree. And I have yet to be able to find those again. They're individual rolls of those. I can't find them at mine. But anyway, that was what I've been making. That's what I've been into. And thank you for watching, and I will come back and show you anything else that I made. All right? Thanks, everybody. Bye.